You are welcome to the first video of a new course with the name of CLI based network automation using Python Nornia based on Cisco devices. Network automation tools help us to automate monitoring and configuration of network devices, which can be useful especially in a large scale network environments. As a network engineer, I classify automation tools into two main categories those based on native Python programming language, which brings mainly flexibility and those not based on python which brings mainly simplicity like ansible and puppet there are two categories of python based network automation tools or libraries those through which we send final cli command to monitor and configure network devices and those that are based on yang data structure which we send data instead of cli commands the target of this course is to automate network devices based on CLI-based Python automation libraries. Therefore, our comparison mainly focuses on the tools classified in this category. Yang-based Python automation tools will be discussed in another course, hopefully in the next course. Network automation with Ansible and non-Python-based automation tools is already exist in the list of Rika courses. This is the figure that I prepared to show what I think about network automation tools. Ansible, Hopit, and Chef are some automation tools that are not based on Python programming language and have their own language. I have been automating with Ansible and Hopit for more than two years. I've used Ansible for both network and server automation and use Puppet as a configuration repository and server automation. What I can say after this not too big experience is that simplicity is the most important property of these automation tools. What is missing in these tools is the flexibility of programming languages. I believe that any network engineer, especially those with no programming experience, can start with Ansible so they can enjoy automation and a simple automation language at the same time. However, these tools are not focus of this course because of this. I won't talk about these tools anymore. I want to focus my discussion to the comparing of automation tools which are based on Python programming language. Python is a scripting programming language with many libraries which can be used in network automation. These libraries can be classified into two main categories, those who send final CLI commands to, to the network devices to monitor or configure them and those who are based on Yang data structure. Yang is a standard data model language and in network automation bring the capability to monitor and configure network devices with sending or receiving data to or from Yang data structure instead of sending final CLI commands. It has the potential of monitoring and configuring network devices independent of the vendor CLI commands. Therefore, for configuring and monitoring of different vendors, we don't need to use different CLI commands. To better understand the Yang data modeling structure, suppose that you send BGP AS number, BGP neighbor IP addresses along with AS numbers and networks to be advertised in the form of data in Yang data structure and independent of the vendor if it is Cisco, Juniper, Arista or any other vendor. It also brings the potential of monitoring network devices regardless of the vendor and in the format of a structured data that can be easily processed without using regular expression. NetConf, RESTConf, and GNMI are three famous protocols that use the Yang data structure to automate network devices. There are some libraries in the Python programming language 
which can use these protocols to automate network devices based on Yang data structure. But that is the focus of another course, which I hope will be the next course. CLI-based network automation is the topic of this course. Therefore, in this section, I'm going to compare different CLI-based network automation Python libraries and why I choose Nornier to automate during this course. Paramico is the first Python network automation library that is introduced in this course. Paramico is not more than just a Python SSH library. In other words, in Python, you can program to connect to the network devices through SSH with this Paramico plugin. Paramico does not do anything more for you. To give you some examples, if you connect to a device through Paramico and then need to press the space bar multiple times to access the shell, you need to implement it in your code. To use show monitoring commands, you must switch to the enable mode through your code. And to configure network devices, you need to enter the configuration mode through your code. With Paramico, you need to collect the output of your show commands and encode it by your code to make it human readable. In short, Paramico does nothing for you and it is only a SSH library. In Python NetMico library, you don't have to worry about accessing the shell, switching to different modes to monitor or configure the devices, or collecting and coding the output of commands to display them on the screen. All of this is done by Python NetMico device drivers. For 10 devices, the drivers are always up to date and fully supported. Various Cisco devices include iOS, iOS XE, iOS XR, NXOS, and Cisco ASA, Arista Virtual EOS devices, and Juniper Kionos devices, HP Pro Curve devices, and Linux are the devices fully supported by NetMico Python library. But in addition to these devices, 95 other devices are partially supported by NetMico with limited tests and experiment, which you can see the list of devices in this link. Scraply is another Python network automation library which is enough popular and very handy. Scraply is somehow more advanced version of NetMico with some improvement but at the same time some limitations. Scraply only support five device types. But the devices which are often used in network infrastructures, including Cisco, iOS XR, iOS XE, NXOS, Juniper Jonas, and Arista EOS. So if we are automating a network with devices out of this list, then obviously NetMico is the right solution. Otherwise, Scraply is mostly preferred. There are some new features added in Scraply. For example, you have the capability to choose to replace an existing configuration or merge it with the current configuration. It also supports NetConf protocol. It means you can configure devices also based on Yang data structure with Scraply library. With looking at the network automation comparison table, we will get the feeling that Napalm 
is an advanced version of Scraply and it is preferred in most cases. But that's not the case. That's not true. And Napal is not used as often as NetMicro and Scraply. But the idea of Napal is interesting. Napal can automate network regardless of the vendor or abstraction and give us a structured monitoring output for easy processing. Exactly the goals that we are following with Yang data structure. So why it is not famous? Napalm is still based on CLI commands, but not Cisco, Juniper, or Arista commands. It has its own commands which are translated into vendor specific commands in the background. In other words, for every famous commands like monitoring the IP address of interfaces, Napalm has invented its own command. When we call Napalm command, it translates the command based on the vendor of the managed devices. For example, show IP interface brief in Cisco device or show interface terse in Juniper device. Obviously, it does not support all commands, but only very famous commands. Additionally, it supports only show commands and has no advantage in configuration commands. The other advantage of Napal is a structured output of monitoring commands to understand better when you type show interface terse in Juniper device or show IP interface brief in Cisco device to extract the IP address and a status of a specific interface, you need to use regular expression to extract information and regular expression obviously differs in Cisco and Juniper device. But with Napalm, you get an output that is firstly vendor independent. And secondly, you can easily extract any information from the output without using regular expression. Python Nornier library is what we will use during the course. And now we discuss why. First of all, you need to know that inside Nornier, we are allowed to use NetMiko, Scraply, Napalm, and many other automation libraries through Nornier plugins. Therefore, in Nornier, we have the advantage of all previous automation libraries like NetMiko, Scraply, or Napalm. But Nornier itself brings two new benefits inventory management and multi trading. With previous Python automation libraries that don't have inventory management, you configure the list of devices in your code. However, in inventory management, the list of devices and the group of devices are defined in a separate inventory files. Then you can easily filter devices or device groups in your code to send commands to monitor or configure them. Another benefit of Python Nornier library is multi-threading. This feature allows us to send commands to many devices at the same time. With other Python automation libraries, like Paramico, NetMiko, Scraply, and Napal, discussed earlier, commands are only sent to the devices one at a time. Now we know why we chose Nornier plugin to automate network devices. We will use NetMiko, Napal, and Scraply plugins inside Nornier during 